Good morning. The topic that I'm going to discuss today is the median test or the multi-sample test. So what is the median test or the multi-sample test? It is also called a sign test for k-independent samples. It is a non-parametric test. It is a straightforward extension of the median test for two independent samples. The chi-square test is used for k-independent samples. And the formula that we're going to use is chi-square is equal to the summation of the observed minus expected values squared divided by the expected values. For our example problem, a sampling of the acidity of rain for 10 randomly selected rainfalls was recorded at three different locations in the province of Northern Samar. Those are Biri Island, Katarman, and Silvino Lubos. The pH readings for these 30 rainfalls are shown in the next table. Note that the pH readings range from 0 to 14. 0 is acid and 14 is alkaline. Pure water falling through clean air has a pH reading of 5.7. This is our data. Use the median test at 0.05 level of significance to test the null hypothesis that there is no significant difference among the pH readings of three different municipalities of Northern Samar. For our problem statement, is there a significant difference in the pH readings among the three different municipalities of Northern Samar? For our hypothesis, for our null, there is no significant difference in the pH readings among the three municipalities in Northern Samar. For our alternate hypothesis, there is a significant difference in the pH readings among the three municipalities in Northern Samar. For the level of significance, we are going to test this at alpha is equal to 0 0.05. For the degrees of freedom, we will be using two. I will explain later how we arrived at two. For our chi-square at 0 0.05 or the tabular value of our chi-square, we have there 5.991. For our statistics, we will be using median test for k-independent samples. For our computation, we get the median of the pH readings jointly for the three municipalities, then arrange the data from the highest to the lowest value. The median here is 4.3. So we will be assigning a plus sign to the values above the median and a minus sign to the values at or below. Okay, so the data may be arranged in a 2 by 3 table as follows. We have there for the municipalities Biri, Katarman, and Silvino Lubos. And we have for the above 4.3 or above the median, that is the plus sign. We have for the observe Biri, we have 1. Katarman, we have a 6. And Silvino Lubos, we have 7 which gives us a total of 4, 14. For the at or below the median or 4.3, that is the minus sign, we have here for the observe, we have 9 for Biri, 4 for Katarman, and 3 for Silvino Lubos, which gives us a total of 16. Okay, so for the row total of Biri, we have there 10, that is 1 plus 9, that's 10. Katarman, we have 6 plus 4, we have 10. And Silvino Lubos, we have 7 plus 3, that also gives us 10. We have a grand total of 30. Okay, so how do we compute for the expected values? For the expected values, for Biri, that is, we have 
the column total of 14 and then multiplied by the row total of 10 divided by the grand total of 30. It gives us 4.7. For Katarman, we also have the column total of 14 times the row total of 10 divided by 30. That gives us 4.7. And for Silvino Lubos, we have there 14 times 10 also divided by 30. It gives us 4.3. Okay. So for those values at or below 4.3 or the median, we have there for the expected values, we have 16, the column total, okay, multiplied by the row total of 10 for the BRI divided by 30. That's the grand total. It gives us 5.3. Then for Katarman, we have there also 16 times 10 divided by 30. That gives us 5.3. And for Silvino Lubos, we have there 16 times 10 divided by 30. And that gives us also 5.3. Okay. Then next is, okay. So, for the chi-square, that is equal to the summation of the observed minus the expected square divided by the expected values. We have there 1 minus 4.7 squared divided by 4.7 plus 6 minus 4.7 squared divided by 4.7 plus 7 minus 4.7 squared divided by 4.7 plus 9 minus 5.3 squared divided by 5.3 plus 4 minus 5.3 squared divided by 5.3 plus 3 minus 5.3 squared divided by 5.3. It gives us a computed value of 8.299. Okay. Then for the decision rule, if the computed value is greater than the tabular value, this confirm the null hypothesis. For our conclusion, since the computed value of 8.299 is greater than the tabular value of 5.991 at 0 0.05 level of significance with 2 degrees of freedom, we reject the null hypothesis. There is a significant difference in the pH readings among the three different municipalities in Northern Samar.